Towns and cities are noisy environments, but there's an animal that's making some places even noisier. I've come to the Isle of Sheppey in Kent, where some pretty wild residents have been making themselves heard. The noise has just been so horrendous. I've never heard anything like it before. Somebody said, what could that noise be? Well, the culprits are marsh frogs, who've been hitting the headlines with their loud calls, disturbing the peace all over the southeast. Just a few minutes from the centre of town, I've come to Elmley Marshes to find the source of the racket and to meet reserve manager Gareth Fulton. Now, these marsh frogs, are they calling all the time at the moment? Do you know what, Mike? They're pretty incessant. They kick off in the afternoon, they'll go all through the night. It's amazing. Now, I really want to try and hear how loud they are. Have yeah. you got a favourite spot in mind? Do you know what? We're surrounded by ponds, but perhaps if we come down here, we can get nice and close. Unlike our native frog, which actually spends a tiny proportion of its year in water, marsh frogs are very aquatic. They rarely leave water and use the dense vegetation provided by reeds to avoid predators such as bitterns and herons. So, Gareth, why uh, are these ponds so good for the marsh frogs? Well, mate, obviously down there you can see all that vegetation, loads of good hiding places, and there's packs full of invertebrates that the frogs can eat. It's also a pretty warm, sunny place, Kent, isn't it? Yeah, you know, we're pretty blessed in the southeast of England, and we don't actually get that much rainfall, so the North Kent marshes are unusual because they'll dry out in the summer. These ponds will stay wet for the frogs, so it's great. And if we just listen behind us, I can hear some marsh frogs yeah, kicking really... off. They are so noisy, but they're much tougher to spot. Yeah, they are. And we're going to have to pick a spot, sit really still and just wait. While these frogs have hit the headlines for their loud calls, they're actually very shy and not easy to spot. So to help us pinpoint the hidden hoppers and measure their volume of croak, we've got some cutting edge technology. This is a sound camera. It usually pinpoints unexplained rattles on cars, but today we're going to use it to actually see marsh frogs calling, picking up their calls by creating a colour display like this. As marsh frogs are highly territorial, all we have to do is sit and wait for any dominant males to begin calling. And as the calls start, our sound camera records the chorus and reveals where the frogs are. When one frog starts, others are set off, proclaiming their dominance and territory. So this coloured area is pinpointing the position of one of the marsh frogs calling. Of course, each one of those is a male calling and he's calling for a reason. Yeah, he's really booming away, trying to call in a girl, get a mate. Do you know, we call it rolling thunder because it starts at the back of the marsh, a couple of miles away, and you can hear it building and they'll all set each other off. Each pond will set the next pond off. And then by the time it gets to you, it really gets you in the face, you know. You, yeah, you really hear it. Of course, it's your biggest amphibian as well. Mm. And the depth of the call is really important. So if you're more baritone, deep, booming voice, you're going to get more females. Absolutely. Those two air sacs really inflate and they'll push a sound right across the marsh. <laughs> These large visible vocal sacs act like bellows and a resonating chamber all rolled into one. Filling these sacs with air creates a larger area and so amplifies their calls. As the sound camera is showing the noise, it's also recording the level in decibels. And just looking here, it's peaking at about 85 decibels. Official guidelines state that once a noise reaches 55 decibels in the evening, it becomes a nuisance. So despite their size on mass, they can create a cacophony of sound. For me, these aren't the mindless antisocial amphibians of the headlines. They're simply frogs calling with all their heart to attract a mate and father the next generation. And it's a sound I'd happily listen to all night long.